Hi team, Phil here with Phil Shomo Coaching. You know, one of my favorite topics to talk with athletes about is the topic of adversity. Adversity is one of these things that everybody faces, everybody faces adversity, both externally and internally. And whoever navigates adversity the best, I think is one of the great differentiators in athletic competition. It's actually also one of the great differentiators in business, in relationships, in pretty much all of life. Adversity comes to all of us. Some of us are just surprised by it. And some of us are actually prepared for it. And those who are prepared for it end up having an enormous advantage. In athletics, I would go so far as to say, I believe that those who navigate adversity the best are by far out in front of all of the competition. You know, when adversity comes to us in any realm of life, there's really two options. I like to frame those two options as option number one is what I call reflex reaction. And option number two is what I like to call reasoned response. Let me just unpack just what I mean by those just a little bit. So reflex reaction is this quick, automatic, impulsive response. It's this adversity comes and we just have this reflex reaction to the adversity. It happens fast and it happens impulsively. Ryan Holiday in his book, The Obstacle is the Way, says that everything is planned down to the letter and then something goes wrong and the first thing we do is trade in our plan for a good old emotional freak out. Freaking out is just a great example of a reflex reaction. Reflex reactions tend to be extreme. For a lot of people who, who just fall into reflex reactions, they tend to do th things like ignoring adversity or fighting adversity. Maybe, maybe their, their go-to is just downplaying how big a deal the adversity is. Maybe their go-to is blaming someone or something for the adversity. Maybe their go-to is catastrophizing the adversity, making it even bigger than what it is. For some people, they internalize the adversity. They, they become the adversity. The adversity takes them over, and they begin to see themselves as just a victim of the adversity. The adversity has taken control. But the opposite option, the other option, the better option, the advantageous option is what I call a reasoned response. A reasoned response is where we pause and we have some thoughtful decisioning about how we're going to respond. We give some reasoning to our response to the adversity. A great question to just get in the habit of asking whenever adversity comes, is just learning this habit to ask the question, what can I do right now to turn this adversity into something helpful for my ultimate objective? What can I do right now to turn this adversity into something helpful? You know, I think there's several um, skills or, or characteristics that we can build that really provide a foundation for us to get good at a reasoned response to adversity. If we'll grow in these, in these skills, our capacity to respond to adversity in a reasoned way and take an advantage become greater and greater and greater. I'll just name half a dozen, there could be a ton. Self-awareness, growing in self-awareness, seeing my own instincts, my habits, my weaknesses, huge advantage when adversity comes our way. Another one, second one is patience. Just this ability to breathe, to pause, to, to just wait a tick, to just not just fly off the handle, not just freak out, but to actually accept the adversity and pause for a second. That, that would be a second one. A third one is, is the, the, uh, what I'll call adaptability. Adaptability is this idea that you can be flexible, you can adjust. You don't just have to go down one path. When there's obstacles, hurdles, and adversity, there actually can be alternatives. Adaptability, huge asset. A fourth one I'll name, resourcefulness. Resourcefulness is this idea of being creative, stretching what we have, 
being able to think outside the box, rearranging our plans, our strategies, our resources, our skills, our abilities, resourcefulness, huge asset if we're gonna, gonna give a reasoned response to adversity. A, a, a fifth one I'll name is self-control. Man, this one is hard, but this one is huge. This is where our emotions are not just automatically true and dominant and taking us over, but we actually accept the emotions. We don't run away from them. We don't pretend like they're not there. We receive the emotions, but we don't automatically give control to the emotions. We actually have some self-control in the midst of emotions. And then a last one, a sixth one I'll name, is what I'll just call a mindset of overcoming. A mindset of overcoming. If we can develop this ability to see opportunities in the midst of adversities and find a new path when adversity has now become a reality, that kind of mindset, that overcoming mindset, man, that is just huge. Those are just several. There could be more, but those skills, those characteristics really provide a foundational layer for us to be fully prepared for adversity. Adam Sosinski is a life coach who said this on his website not long ago, adversity provides you with an opportunity to grow, develop, and learn from the experience in ways that you never planned or imagined. You know, that way of thinking, that way of looking at adversity really sort of flips adversity on its head. It, it goes from being this crazy thing that's now preventing us from getting where we want and it flips it into seeing it as fuel and a resource and a tool that can actually be used to our advantage to get to where we want. You know, I think it's always got to start whenever adversity comes our way. And adversity is in our lives right now on a worldwide stage bigger than it's been probably in 80 years or more. But when this adversity happens, and we're living in it right now, we've got to be honest with our emotions, but we've also got to remember that we don't have to freak out. That freaking out is really not going to help us get to where we want to get to. We can, we can learn to reply to adversity not just with reflex reactions, but with reasoned responses. You know, one is a massive disadvantage. It's almost never an advantage to just have a reflex reaction when an obstacle, hurdle, adversity comes our way, externally or internally. That reflex reaction almost always gets us in trouble. But if we learn that reason response, reasoned response, with those kind of characteristic traits building up underneath it that I named a few minutes ago, that can really become an advantage for us. Now, I know you're all living in adversity. I'm living in adversity. Be honest with what you're dealing with. Be honest with what you're feeling. Be honest with where you are. Get some help if you really need help. But also remember, you don't have to just automatically reflexively react you can learn the skills of dealing with adversity in a much more advantageous way. That's why the tagline for my, uh, my business is adversity to advantage. When you learn that skill, you have a huge, huge advantage over the competition.